Hi guys, uh, so this is going to be the start of a new series. Um, so I'm going to call this the Break Par series. So obviously, as the name would suggest, the idea is to come and play various different courses and try to break par. So I wanted to film this and start this at Carnoustie, but Carnoustie's just absolutely wrecked with the weather just now. So we're up at Ayla today. Mr. Beatty has been kind enough to sign me on as a guest. So just the two of us, we're going to fly around here. I'm going to try and take this challenge quite seriously, this, this series. Um, play it as if I'm playing in a tournament. So hole out putts, um, hit provisionals if need be, hopefully not. But anyway, we're going to get going now. So enjoy. Set. Set. That's all right, I think. Set. A little bit long. You know, when I played Scott in any future matches that we have, it's just going to be mostly about having some fun. You know, play for a bit of money, make it a laugh. But these challenges I'm going to try and take quite seriously as if I was playing in tournament conditions. So be more kind of irons off the tee, less just smashing driver all over the place. So um, yeah, two good shots in here. I think I've got a little bit long look for birdie, but it's a good start. All right, so long putt for birdie on the first, a little bit long. 145 there and straight down wind hit wedge, a bit long, but breaking right to left. I think the greens are, they look pretty good, but they're a little on the slow side. So I've got to give this a good, pretty good hit. Go, go, oh, they're slow. Slow, slow, slow. Still quite slow. Oh, and a good save for bar. That had a hell of a swing on that, Jesus. It's like six inches outside the hole from four feet or whatever. Little dog leg right, Ryan, eh? Kinda goes downhill. So just, like if I'm just hitting eye on it, just needs to be just left of that bunker, yeah? Yeah. Okay. Or oh, right at it. I think it's alright. Dug it a little bit, it looks pretty good. Go. Oh. Looks pretty good. How was that for a divot? Jeezy, peeps. Right, so, good shot in. Uh, party putt here, back up the hill. Moving right to left, but the wind's howling left to right, so it'll cancel a little bit of the break. Just try and... Get the speed right. So slow. <laughs> Hammered that too. Good floor though, not an easy hole. All right, third hole, par three, up the hill, wind howling, but in, has to be hard on eh? in off the left. One, five, nine, playing one, six, five, up the hill. So I've got six iron, I think I need all of this. It's playing long. I've got to send this out left and let the wind do its job. Come on, wind, I've had it so good and it's not moving, come on. Oh, it's done okay actually, just off the left side of the green. That was nice actually, that was quite a nice surprise. <laughs> Happy with that. Not had many quality shots so far this year. Alright, so, <laughs> just pumped it right through the wind with a six iron there, but it's okay, it's the right side to miss the green. So I've got a chip back up the hill, left to right. Decent lie. Shouldn't, shouldn't be too much of a problem.
Pretty good. I thought that was going in, by the way. That was tracking. That's a hell of a lot of break. Even like this little two footer is probably outside the hole. Maybe. Yeah. Alright, short one for par, but it's going to snap right. This almost needs to be outside the hole, I think. A good save. Right, so 360, good start, so level par through 3, so 360 par 4. Again, wind the same direction as the last hole, so wind in off the left. I'm going to try and hit a little stinger 2 iron here. Keep it under the wind. Perfect. It's a nice flight on that. Yeah, I mean, that's proper blowing now. This, I think I need all of this. Pretty good. Come on. Oh, it's beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, that was nice. I like that. Oh, thank Christ for that lesson yesterday. Alright, really good shot in here, really nice, enjoyed that one. Um, four feet, maybe maybe five. Again, these greens move a lot, like, this is again, outside the hole, even with the greens being on the slow side. Left to right. Nice, buddy. Let's start to one under through four, so a good start. A little bit worried about that overhanging tree. Like I've got to start this pretty close to that. Perfect. So we'll hit the tee shots already here on five, but we get a better view of it here. This is just a really cool little hole. So you've got the burn runs across here, so kind of forces you if you're going to lay up to go up the left but then you leave yourself quite a long difficult second shot into this green or you can try and do what me and Ryan were trying to do like take it up the right hand side here carry it over that first part of the burn and just leave you know a little 40 50 yard shot into the green so pretty cool hole Pretty good. Set. I think it's pretty good. That's so wet there, like the size of that divot again. Cheesy peeps. All right. Uh, I thought it was quite close here, but it's gone quite far. So she got a tough two pot here, downhill right to left. This green just looks a little bit quicker than the other ones as well. A little bit low, but I think the speed's pretty good. <sighs> just struggling to get the speed to Just not as fast as I think. <sighs> yeah, I think so. Right, a little dead low for par. Right, good four. That's not an easy little hole. One under through. Is that the fifth? Yeah. Fifth. Yeah, one under through five. Solid start. All right, yeah. Um, dog leg right. There's a run out down there. I think there's a little group of bushes about 280. So I've just got three iron. I don't think it'll get get to them downwind. Keep up the right half of the fairway. It kicks hard from right to left. So I think the wind's a little bit off the left hand side. So try and hit a little cutty three iron down there.
のかさあさあ、don't go in the bunker I think it's past the bunker, isn't it? Yeah Okay, that'll be fine Good strike, just didn't No fade This, this, uh, this green's absolutely crazy So I've got 130 But the green's really, really severely sloping from right to left I've got a bit of a jumper, a bit of a flyer lie downwind as well But I'm actually going to hit 50 So I would usually hit this about 130 but I'm going to try and take it in like really low, land it short and then just use the contours of the green to feed it round. Just hit a little chippy 50. I, I just don't think 56 gets there because of how soft the greens are. Could be really good. Go on. I don't know, it looks really good but I don't know if it's... I don't know if it got all the way back to the pin or not. I think it was coming round, I think it was taking the slope on the green, but it's how it, it's how it was trying to play it, so we'll see. Yep. This is just, this is just so severe, like this is, honestly, at least eight feet outside the right. Uphill. Wow. My God. My back's almost to the hole here, Patton. Oh, they're just, it's just such a hard putt. Like, it's going to break, obviously, but the greens are so slow, it's just not taking the break now. I can't say I'm remotely a fan of this type of green. Like, I just, I hate that you can hit two good shots in to 15, 18 feet and have an unbelievably difficult two putt. I mean, even this is outside the hole, downhill, right to left. Thank heavens for that. But yeah, that is just absolutely bonkers, that green. I think I had the line fine first time around in the summer but with them being this slow you probably just don't have to take it half as high as that yeah that's better just wow that's not something we get on Lynx golf courses that's for sure uh, right so 118 yard par 3 down the hill so the wind's kind of mostly just off the left I'm really not actually sure what club to hit here I had a similar yardage earlier and it was a 9-iron, but that was straight into the wind. Just, I mean, long doesn't look great. I think I'm going to go down to a 50, I think. And this is one of these pins where you look at this and go, I want to try and get it close, but left is dead. Left leaves no shot. So I'm going to try and start this at the flag. If it holds there, great. If it drifts right, then it's fine. Yeah, wind's just got it, but it should be fine. Yeah. I'm glad I changed club, though. All right, so it's a long look for birdie. Um, but again, that pin's so tight to that bunker, you just can't afford to miss left. So this is the the professional miss over here at the right. Moving just a little bit right to left. I've been short on every putt, so I'm just going to try and give this a bit extra and get it here. Yeah, and I've left it short again, right in the middle. Oh. Right in the middle. Unlike that one. <laughs> I knew where this pin was because it kind of determines the aiming point, but short par four, it's only like, what, 240? Two bunkers. Yeah. On, on either side. Yeah. I'm just going to try and hit it at the pin, basically. Hope for the best. Three iron. Oh, and I've chunked it a little bit. It's on a decent line, but it's going to be short. Yeah, no problems though. So, not the best three iron, but we're okay. In a pretty good spot here. Chance to get it up and down for birdie. Plenty of green. That's a green light. Oh, 
pulled it a little bit. Distance is good, but just pulled it a little bit. Not bad. All right, chance for birdie. Uh, I don't think this is doing an awful lot. It looks like, if anything to me, it looks like it goes a little right early and maybe straightens up. So I'm gonna go pretty firm and just try and give it good speed. Oh, it just wandered right at the end. I think it was in about six inches short. Oh, you little... Easy part, I'll still one under through. Eight? Yeah, eight. So long part four, well, 400, yeah, 400 yards, but it's pretty tight. Um, OB up the right, trees up the left, so got two iron again, try and hit the same stinger as back on number five, I think it was, four, four maybe. Four, I think it was, yeah. Thanks, Andy. Yeah, so right over this marker here and just let the wind take it to the right. Hold. Oh, it's pretty tight, isn't it? That's oh, okay. Start soft. Yeah, like, I just, I'm not sure about club. Oh, it's so wet here. It's as good as I can hit it, but the wind's just killing it. I don't really know where that is. Just right of the green. Yeah, the wind just hammered that. I hit it really solid, but... Yeah, I think it maybe do need to chip this, actually. Yeah, it's just, it's quite hairy here, so I think I'm just going to have to chip this, actually. A little nine iron. Set, set. Not bad, not bad. <sighs> eh? Yeah, I just, I tried to force myself to hit it because of how slow and hairy the greens are, so I'm quite happy with that. Okay, so a good chip, left it in a good spot, back uphill, a little bit left to right, inside the hole and bash it in the back. Or dribble it in the front, it, either way is absolutely fine. <laughs> Barely reached. Oh, right, so oh, one under part of the turn, guys. Uh, so make sure you stay tuned for part two. See if we can finish this round off and get it round under par for the first first time in the series.